Good morning, Father. Lord, out the bed, dropped on my knees for the prayer. Place it on my heart. I'm forever thankful. Pray for all my loved ones. May God be with you. You give me a feeling. You give me a feeling. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, alakim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim through His Son Yahushua. It's Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. Gentlemen, like the video down below. Leave a comment down below. Share the video. And if you're watching this content right now and you're not a supporter, become a supporter right now and tell a friend. Now let's get into it. Gentlemen, let's talk about it. Why do men and women feel your spirit but have fear at the same time and envy you and give you wicked looks and wicked stares? We about to, we about to get in depth. And we always start off on a man first because he's the head of the woman. And I start off saying that we start off with the man first because he's the head of the woman because we know that the man does not know that. The average man doesn't know that he is the head, not the tail because he does everything for a woman. You see us men, we do not do things subconsciously for women as well too because that's not our creator. Even though we come out the womb of a woman, the first man was designed with clay and the most high Elohim put his spirit inside of the man and gave him life so that's who we come to through his son Yahushua because Yahushua he's our head and the head of Yahushua is the most high Elohim Yahuwah when you have all these things in accord when you have all these things on point you see men don't like you no matter how bad they fake it, men don't like you. But men of truth, men of stature, men of righteousness, they definitely like to be in the presence of a man that has those three things because a man wants to be around a man where he can get wisdom from and get something of edification. You see, us men, we do not like simple things. We're not a simpleton. We don't dress nice. We don't smell good. We don't look good just to look good. We do it because this is what we are supposed to be doing naturally. And when you're doing these things, when a man is basically breaking his back just to do these things for the opposite and he doesn't get it done, he feels some type of way. And then he starts spending more money, starts spending more time, start wasting more time. And that's not what we really here for. See, through the mainstream media, we have a lot of different beliefs now these days on how to be appealing to the naked eye, how to be appealing to society, hit the gym, lift weights, gain muscle, but still be insecure, watch men wearing tight ass underwear, you replica the same thing, you come outside thinking you're confident, but you stand in front of a man of truth and you're shaking and you're shivering. Sometimes I must catch myself in the presence of weak men because sometimes I'm ready to let them have it. Seriously, ready to let it have it. Now, I love women, right? I love a righteous woman. And some women have potential. You just gotta break their back so they can know the truth. See, a lot of women got contaminated by a lot of these low value wicked serpents these wicked evil entities they got their backs not even broken in they just you know 30 seconds got their nut off and dipped and gave her an unclean insecure 
spirit and now this female's walking around with doubt walking around with insecurities thinking she has to expose her body to the world and now we got to rearrange those things so what you must understand the reason why when a righteous man comes in the presence of a woman that wants to get saved the reason why she can't look at you is because she has been contaminated by these low vibrational men that have all these different types of spirits but shout out to my brother rollo shout out to new breed shout out to my brother mark you know we putting out that content on a day-to-day -day basis man we talking that truth and we all have different talking points so i come off on how i want to come off so shalom to all my brothers man peace man and if you made it this far man peace to all the brothers too so listen man you know, it's the man's fault always on how the women is moving. It's always the man's fault. Always the man's fault. Always. Always. And sometimes it may not even be the man's fault. Sometimes it could be the women's fault because sometimes they come into a congregation where they feel as though that they gotta give off this type of image to look superior to the man, but we all know how things were designed by the Most High. And especially when you're moving in accord and moving the way that you are designed to move, how you get it done. Like, I'm telling you, she could be a bad, a bad dom. She could be a dom with a body. She could have a body, body on point, body of edification, body looking like she getting ready to get slayed. No body modifications, no GMO injections, none of those things, right? And she got this quote unquote alpha male, quote unquote reverse psychology now, putting it as alpha female when there's nothing such as an alpha female. You gotta be submissive to the power. So when they try to mimic the power, they try to come off a certain type of way, but it's not structured in their DNA to really move like that, right? So when they come into a presence of a prophet, when they come into a presence of a man of Yah, when they come into the presence of a man that got the spirit of Yah, they know what time it is. I had a previous video where I said, you have a, you make silent contact with women. You make silent contact with men too. You don't really gotta say too much, but when you speak, your voice, your tonality speaks volumes because you're speaking with authority. You're speaking with wisdom and you're speaking with understanding. You cannot have wisdom and not understanding. Sometimes individuals want to understand before they apply the wisdom. And you must get the wisdom before you get the understanding. So simultaneously, it could all flow. So, when they're in the presence of a man and you're making these silent contacts with them, women know for a fact all your capabilities, all right? She know what you can do. She know with one touch, you can purify that vessel. One touch could heal her. One touch could rearrange her thoughts. One touch could start leading her on a narrow path. Just one touch. But we don't touch these men out here unless they wanna throw some hands. But we don't throw hands with our brothers though, you know? The most high is the Elohim of war. So if we gotta go to war every once in a while, we gotta go to war. Cause you know, these days men are emotional, you know? They growing their hair long like they want to get it, you know, pulled and beat on like a broad. But that's for another discussion. Man. So, gentlemen, you gotta you gotta know the reasons why people feel some type of way around you. You know, we already know we're doing the right thing. You know, you keeping your hands out of areas where you're not supposed to be keeping it at. You know, you're on point. Right, with your mind, you're on point with your eyes, you're on point with your speech. A 
lot of gentlemen, you must work on your craft. You see, speech is a craft as well. You got to work on your craft. You got to know how to articulate yourself. Because it's very humiliating when you see individuals of your same tribe and they reflect nonsense. You know, when I go into communities and I see men and their pants are not all the way up and they're using constant foul language and they're just acting idiotic and you come into an environment where people may have a sense of education, sense of knowledge. You know, you get judged until you speak. You get judged on how you present yourself. I'm here to tell y'all gentlemen, listen, clean up your act. Clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. This is, this is the time right now for you to really educate yourself self-reflect and get on point all praise to the most high Elohim Yahuwah through his son Yahusha thankful for the Rawak spirit of Yah Shalom Elohim peace be upon you hallelujah praise the most high gentlemen if you made it this far like the video down below. Leave a comment down below as well too. Share the video and continue to become a supporter. It's Uncle K. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace.